Hi Aries, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your love bite. Aries, let's see what's the message here for you today. And of course, these are general collective readings. Aries will not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you. Leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. The World Card, Nine of Cups in Reverse, Two of Wands in Reverse, Justice in Reverse, Page of Pentacles Upright, Queen of Swords Upright, Seven of Pentacles in Reverse, Eight of Pentacles in Reverse and the Hermit in Reverse. Well, somebody is very, very frustrated, very frustrated, very angry. They feel that uh, there is a queen of swords here who's totally cut out somebody. They feel I've been cut out. This chapter has been wrapped up. None of my dreams and wishes will ever come true. Um, they feel the stagnation. And they also realize the injustice that's been done in this connection. Uh, somebody is very disappointed because they are just not being able to figure out how to make this work now. Of course, understanding that they've made some very, very unwise and foolish decision. So let's see what's going to happen. Why this Knight of uh, Swords is, is somebody coming forward? Because there is a page of cups right under that. Well, are they coming in with an apology or are they coming in to fight? <laughs> let's see. I'm going to cl clarify these cards, of course, Aries. But first, let's start with your dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be. And then we're going to clarify these cards. Aries and their person spirit. Aries and their person. All right. Let's take a few more Aries from another deck. And if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there. Aries and their person. Just a few more Aries from a third deck as well. And then we'll start your reading. Aries and their person. I think somebody is trying to figure out a way to come out of their loneliness. Okay, so the first card here, uh, Aries says, Love and being loved is the most beautiful, crazy, unexpected and magical feeling I've ever felt. Thank you for loving me the way that you do. I love you till infinity. There is no one in the world as amazing as you. When you told me, you thought I was too good to be true. I was one of the few good and true people in your life. This could be this Queen of Swords saying that, yeah, I, I loved you unconditionally and I was the, one of the good true people in your life. Well, too late now. Do you think about me? I want to hold you and never let go. Please make time for me. I've moved out of the energy of waiting for you. Instead, I've, fo I've chosen to focus on healing myself. Well, I haven't written you off entirely, but I haven't expected to hear from you either. Shit, you're all I think about. The past, the good times, our crazy passion, the drama, and how I want you now. Damn. You are my daily motivation. Your soul, the essence of who you are, inspires me and helps me navigate the path of life. Our love will never die because true love lasts forever. I admire you. I care about you. I trust you. I respect you and I love you unconditionally. You are my true love. It's like somebody is almost desperate now to convince the, the other person that, no, no, I want you back. I write you messages and then I delete them because I just don't know what to say. I'm so sorry because I know that my silence is hurting you. I'm healing and trying to find my strength to be honest with you about how I truly feel. 
All right, Aries, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating, let's start your reading with an angel blessing card. Let's see what my angels have for you today, Aries, as a blessing, guidance, advice, or a message. Well, the situation requires pray, prayer. Maybe this person needs to pray, or maybe this is just you healing and connecting with your spirit guides and getting the answers you want, Aries. So, well, the angels are watching. Be very precise about your prayers because they are being heard. Okay, so let's start your reading. Uh, Spirit, what's the world card for Aries today? What's the, why is the world card here as the first card? Yeah, see, somebody feels that their person has shut down the chapter because of their lying, cheating, sneaking behavior and is running away from them. And that is making them feel very unhappy. This person is very, very lonely. Um, the second time the hermit in reverse has come out. I think somebody has finally recognized their own foolish choices, unwise decisions, their lying, cheating behavior and you know, understanding why maybe this Queen of Swords is the one who's shut this door on them and that's making the other person feel very, very unhappy. They feel now none of my wishes will come true. This person is scared, my God. This person is in a lot of fear. Devil and the Moon card. Maybe at one time they were, you know, they had addictions or they had secrets or whatever this person had. But at the moment, I feel this person is very scared. They're very, very scared, very, very emotional because they know now that they will have to put the work in to get anything going. Otherwise, none of their dreams will ever come true, right? They know that they have to finally make a decision, finally choose a direction if they want to make wrongs right. Two of Wands in reverse spirit. Yes, this person wants to come back desperately. They're so tired of this thinking, this overthinking. Uh, you know, this is like jailed, stuck in their head. This person is desperate, desperate to come out of their head now and they just want to come back, come back to their person. Justice in reverse spirit. Justice in reverse. They, they don't know how. They don't know how to manifest this. They know that they've done a lot of bad in, the, in their life. Maybe, maybe towards this Queen of Swords. Maybe this person is just a heartbreaker, promise breaker. They're realizing the pain they've caused this Queen of Swords. Their own trickster ways are uh, And they are now recognizing that this is probably their karma. They're getting some bad karma and no wonder this person is feeling totally stuck at the moment. Stagnant and stuck. Uh, page of Pentacles, Spirit. Page of Pentacles. Look at the regret. Look at the regret, the sorrow, the guilt, the shame when they look at the, their own past deeds. That's why this person doesn't know now how to move, how to move towards their person, how to go back. Because this Queen of Swords is not playing now. This Queen of Swords has, has their sword up and is totally guarding themselves, totally unemotional, not kind of giving them any rope to just, you know, sneak back into their life. And they know that. Queen of Swords, you want to say something here? Uh, since you're sitting in the upright, I'm going to give you the mic. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords, okay. Queen of Swords says, I'm focusing on my money, Omkara Taro, and I'm also focusing on only those things, whether it's relationship, whether it's work, whether it's finance, whatever it is, I'm only now decided, I'm only, only going to deal with people who give me reciprocity. Yes, I am, I am taking that leap of faith and I'm, uh, well, jumping off that cliff to go for a new beginning. And from now on, I've made a decision. I will only give as much as I get. I've learned my lesson. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Seven. That, that is what is making the other person very frustrated. Now they're realizing, oh my God, I'm having a missed opportunity. I should have invested when the time was right. Now they're recognizing what this Queen of Swords is feeling, right? There should be equal give and take. There should be equal reciprocity. And now this person is realizing that that's exactly what they didn't. This person never made that investment. There was only one person who was putting in the work. The other person never invested. That's why they're so frustrated because now they wanted to work and they don't know how. 
this person is very angry very frustrated because again eight of pentacles in reverse the queen of pentacles is no longer putting in work and now they don't know how to come back in and show that they want to uh eight of pentacles in reverse spirit eight of pentacles in reverse Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Yes, I think uh, the Queen of Swords has decided. At least that's how they feel. The Queen of Swords will never trust them again. Has totally given up on them. Has cut them out. They're also saying that this is like karmic justice. Whereas they are in reverse, the Justice card. They see the Queen of Pentacles as making things right for themselves, shining like a star, gaining a lot of victory and the more they maybe see this queen of swords making these wise decisions and moving on towards success, the more they start to feel lonely and start to understand the mistakes this person has made. So hermit in reverse spirit, hermit in reverse. Yes, this person desperately wants to they're thinking okay so this person has is taking some time out in this time alone i think this is very important time for them because uh, the universe has blocked their way to come forward right so in this much time this person has gained all that knowledge in their hermit mode they've re recognized all the mistakes they made why you know that the queen of swords has cut them out they do want to send that message to Aries. I think they've done their thinking. This person desperately, desperately wants a passionate brand new beginning with this Queen of Swords. I don't know which side you're on, but uh, there is somebody here who has thought long and hard. Give me one more. This person is taking action, Aries. They're coming in swift. I mean, I know we've been going back and forth with this energy for a long time and they want to come and talk and then they get cold feet and then they want to come back but this time round I honestly feel they've come up with some kind of a grand plan to say well I'm going to take action and I'm going to go and not just make things right I think they have a proposal in, on their mind so spirit tell me what's this um, uh, knight of swords What's the Knight of Swords? It seems somebody is coming in real quick. Okay. All right. Uh, give me one more though. And is this person is, I don't know, in some cases... See, they have good intentions. Let me put it this way again. This person does want to give that proposal, it seems. They do see this Queen of Swords as their happily ever after, their spouse, their everything. They want to rebuild with this Queen. I am not sure. Um, I am not sure they expect... See, they're not sure that they, they can get their happiness back. They're not sure whether they will be allowed to have this reunion. They are, they are coming to rebuild. But two polar, you know, opposite energies I'm seeing. Some of them are coming with anger and fight and some are coming in with a romantic proposal anything it's like i i'll do anything i'll fight you i'll romance you i'll apologize to you anything that can end the past chapter and uh, well bring in a new beginning this person is desperate absolutely desperate to end this fight i mean they do want commitment they do want uh, you know to give a solid offer but they are very stubborn they're very very stubborn in a good way this time because th th this time the stubbornness is that I'm going to get them to commit whatever it takes whether I have to fight them whether I have to apologize to them whether I have to romance them I want to rebuild because they are kind of uh, figuring out that this queen of swords is not going to make any effort they've given up totally they are disappointed in their past uh, deeds or whatever they're not sure that uh, this queen of swords will give them a second chance they feel they've been dropped totally they they this person wants to start a brand new chapter and then in intention is to come forward and give the give the queen of swords a big cup of love they want to talk they want to clear the air but this person is a bit imbalanced i'll warn you here uh, 
it's like in one conversation they could flip from being romantic to fighting to being mean to being rude to saying i love you to saying i hate you all of that because they really don't know what's going to get them the results that they want so eventual goal is to somehow make this queen of swords theirs and to get them to agree so let's see that'll be fun all right so that's what i have for you aries till next time then love and light take care namaste